here again with another no frills video on photography this time we're talking about uh, photo editing in capture one gonna touch on one topic like to keep these videos as short as possible try to just uh, cover one topic at a time so you can just find it get to the point do what you have to do and move on so here we are in capture one I'm on a Mac but uh, it looks the same way on a PC and if you haven't used Capture One in a while, or you haven't updated in a while, um, this is uh, Capture One uh, version 22. It'll be the same for 21. Uh, the change that I'm talking about now may have come about in 20, but again, if you haven't updated in a while, there might be one thing that surprises you when you uh, go into one of the features in Capture One, and that's the export feature. So, uh, or output, or whatever you, uh, whoever you'd like to refer to it. If you remember in previous versions, uh, there was a panel, and the panel had to do with uh, all the output tools. In other words, exporting all your recipes, um, all your settings having to do with outputting, uh, sharpening, things like that. And they were all in uh, a panel that was here, and if you look in that panel, now it's empty. And that was a surprise at first, and to some people it was a big shocker. I didn't think it was that much of a shock. I just had to find out what happened to all those tools so capture one created something called the exporter which if you come up here uh where it says export and you click that you will go to the exporter which um, is just basically another window and it will show your photo uh, or photos over here if you selected multiple photos to uh to output and all your recipes are here like they were in the past you make new recipes here as well I won't go into how you make a recipe i'll handle that in another video so make sure uh, if that interests you you subscribe to be alerted when new videos like this do come out uh, as far as the folder where it's going to go all the information as far as uh, format and size was going to be jpeg or tiff or you know psd so on and so forth resolution uh, how it's going to be scaled um, your sharpening, uh, and again, that's by by recipe. If I choose a different recipe, we get a um, we get it, we get uh, the the contents of that recipe. So this is changed to print, this changed to screen. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be covering how to make recipes. Just let's talk about output and exporting. So again, all the things that would have been in the output panel are here in the exporter. Uh, including uh, watermark and uh, you know all the other features and it's also by default it's in proofing mode so if you make a change to these settings here uh, you will see exactly what they look like or how they'll be output so for instance I have a um, a recipe for uh, Instagram um, and you know that Instagram does require a particular size at least as of the time of this video it uh, for landscape type it was a 1080 uh, pixel on the width and you'll notice it's now scaled down proper dimensions uh, to keep the aspect ratio and this is how it'll look uh, with that particular recipe I'm gonna go back up to uh, full screen screen sharpened and we're back to full screen you can see my watermarks on the bottom here that can easily be shut off by selecting none and again everything in proofing mode is how it will look when it is output to a particular file type that you've chosen so that is pretty much it so output now lives in the exporter exporter brings up a new window it defaults the proofing mode I guess that's important to realize and that's pretty much it that's all I'm gonna cover right now I hope this helps if you've been uh, confused about why this change was made um, they felt that was just cleaner and you know, to move those settings uh, to a different window so that the image you were looking at in proofing mode was basically separated from the image that you may have been editing. Uh, some people were upset about the change. I didn't think it was such a big deal. Instead of output now, it's called export, and they've created the exporter. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Again, I uh, suggest you subscribe. I will be making more of these videos. I try to just get right to the point try to do little pieces at a time so you're not watching long drawn out videos to maybe find uh, one piece of information that you need that's why this one here just focuses on capture one export 
All right, I will uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Again, please like this video. That helps uh, other people see it as well. And please subscribe so that you can be alerted the next time I put out a video like this. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.